you know, just wanted to share this testimony. You know, when my husband was preaching and he mentioned the line that, oh my God, that, that really ministered to me. He said, God's voice to us is a calling to rest. And he mentioned about how we are at rest in our finances. And I'm just going to share this quickly in order to encourage you because that's exactly what happened. And I remembered where in 2013 when the our landlord we were living where we used to live we live in the block of flats so they decided to sell the whole the whole building and where everybody was given two months to leave two months to leave now because of the place where our finances was we didn't have where we didn't have any savings so which means when we move we don't have any money for like for the next place to place a deposit and god specifically spoke to us and that was his voice so he said Whatever happens, do not borrow. That was his word to us. Do not borrow. Now, looking back now and where we are now is a call to rest. The rest we're experiencing was as a result of obedience to his word then. So he said, do not borrow. Not our friends were willing to lend us the money because they, they, were, they knew our situation then. So, but we said, okay, God, we will obey your voice. And that led us to seven months of homelessness. We were homeless for seven months. Moving from our dear friends, we will stay here two weeks, stay here one week, there two weeks, and there uh, some months. God provided a place for us with our friends to stay. But it was a period of pain in that aspect. But God led us into a place of rest. That was a calling. His voice. It looked as if everything was just chaotic, but no, it was a call to rest. So I encourage you today, when you hear God's voice, please do not harden your hearts. Don't explain anything out. Oh, it might be me, it might be coincidence, it might be this. And try to block God's voice. When you hear his voice, just say, Lord, here I am. I say yes to your will, yes to your way. And you will see it for your own benefit. Yeah. So we thank God for that powerful word. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. God bless you. You might be in the wilderness right now, like the story you just had, this is more like us being in the wilderness. But the word of God is a call to rest, even if you're in the wilderness. Because when you think about the children of Israel in the wilderness, they did not lack food. He provided manna for them every day. He provided bread, uh, meat for them. He was a pillar of cloud and fire. They were kept warm. Their sandals didn't break. God, their shoes were, didn't work one out. God provided, you can still be in the wilderness and be at rest. Friends, am I, who am I speaking to right now? You might be thinking, hang on a minute, I have not got everything figured out. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know who I'm going to marry. I don't know the job I need to be doing. I don't know this. I don't know that. I don't know. It. So many things I'm not sure of, but you can still be at rest, even in that place. If you, God is the one speaking to you, if you only will hold on to his word, believe his word, his word will come to pass in your life. I want to encourage you and I want to pray for you, friends, that God will bring his word to, come to, to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. That prayer is not necessarily a prayer. It's actually a prayer of thanksgiving because God is already doing that. But my prayer for you is that you will allow him to bring to pass what he has um, planned to accomplish. Father, everyone listening to the sound of my voice, that you have spoken a word to. Father, I pray that you, the same way that your spirit will energize them, your word will energize them, give them the grace to allow you to one, believe those words, and to two, to allow that word to yield its own fruit, because the word is good. Your word is good. So therefore, in line with what Pastor Amy preached last week, I pray for your people that our hearts will be just fertile ground, that our hearts will be good soil so that your word can do what it needs to do in the name of Jesus. And I thank you because this word also will bring healing, physical healing for people who are suffering in their body and also bring physical relief as well for those who are under some sort of pressure from, from, from things around him, especially family pressure right now. I pray for the relief in that area, but you choose to enter God's rest today in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. We give you praise, Father, for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen.